Hey guys, what is going on and welcome to another Fortnite Battle Royale video here on the channel. Now, today we are going to be talking about the Week 6 quests, however, I also just want to quickly bring your attention to the item shop, um, where we finally have the two of the new skins that were teased for Winterfest. We have Sunspot here, with a nice back bling and the cool skin. He also has a pickaxe if you want both, that will cost you 2,000 V-Bucks a skin, 1,200, the pickaxe, 1,800. Then if we scroll down to the next tab, we also have um, the Ageless Explorer outfit for 1200 V-Bucks. Here's Pickaxe, the Ice Caller's Edge being 500 V-Bucks, and the Ageless Guitar for Fortnite Festival costing 1000 V-Bucks. Now a few people have been questioning about the lore behind the guitar. Uh, there is lore behind it, apparently music and different frequencies help to control the zero point, and that is actually alluded to in the Fortnite comics. So if you've seen the Fortnite comics, you would understand that. If not, yeah, music helps control the zero point. So it does make sense that you'd have a guitar. But we also have to focus today on the fact that there is an unvault, which you guys might have seen with a keen eye in the thumbnail, being the lock on pistol is back. And also our week six quests, which are a couple of them quite simple. Uh, unfortunately we don't have the touch grass quest anymore that uh, they didn't release it instead they did enter three different vehicles collect three ballistic shields in three different ma uh, ballistic shields in three different matches use five zip lines grind wires or ascenders consume three items of food while riding in a vehicle as a passenger refuel vehicles for 75 percent before reaching the final 25 players remaining and then this week's trial for the 30,000 XP is quite difficult. Eliminate two enemy players consecutively without reloading a weapon. Best bet probably for that is have multiple weapons, switch between them instead of reloading. A shotgun will probably be your friend. So, without further ado, me and Brad are going to jump in. We'll see if we can find the lock on pistol here in Fortnite Chapter 5. And we're going to see how many of those quests we can get done, if any. I think... Just like previous weeks, about four of them are fairly easy and will probably get done in one game. And then a couple of them are a little bit more tough and will take a bit longer. Um, obviously, Ballistic Shield in three different matches, you can't get that done in one game. You do have to play three different matches. But for weeklies, then they're not awful. Um, I like the way that Epic are doing quests this season in terms of... You've got some that are really easy and some that are challenging. Um, at the end of the day, killing two people without reloading isn't the easiest of quests. A cover fire frenzy auto shotgun might be your best bet because like, three shots can deal 150 damage, four or five shots can deal your 250 damage if they've got over shield and full health and shield. Um, so you can sort of between three and six shot someone. A cover fire frenzy auto shotgun holds 12 shots in the chamber, so realistically that might be a good way to do it. Um, an SMG probably is not the way to do it, uh, just because I feel like you'd get through the ammo really quickly and you'd accidentally start reloading, and we don't know if it counts if you fully reload or if even if you just start reloading. If, if it counts for just starting to reload, genuinely... SMG will not be the way to do it. Assault rifles, potentially, but I do think your shotgun, particularly the Frenzy Auto, might be the way to go. Um, snipers, I guess if you could hit two back-to-back -back headshots, the sniper would be good, but if not, then I wouldn't advise it. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess clingers as well. Cluster clingers might count towards it, but all in all, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. Like, I remember when Epic rebranded challenges to quests. Um, well, I think we've gone backwards now. I think we've finally got ourselves a challenge. And a tough one at that. So, we're going to go... We're going to probably get bombarded by an absolute ton of people being here. Right, what are you going to want? You're going to want at least two or three weapons, really, to do this quest, I would have thought. Right, 
Brad's already done the quest. Fair play. Oh, I'm getting destroyed. Oh no, I'm going. Oh, I got one of them as well. Yeah, no, no, luck is definitely going to come into it. Oh, of course they would as well. Their teammates down. No, wait, what? Were they different team? Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Oh, well, I killed one. And I've technically not... Re I've killed one and I've technically, technically not reloaded yet. So if I look in the top right now where I've got that quest pinned, yeah. It currently still says one out of two. Yeah, try, try if you can. Oh wait, you might have to kill the bot first. Yeah, what do you see? Alright, let's let's try, let's try. So I wonder what will happen. When I respawn, will it reset the counter? You know what I mean? Because I've still not I've still not reloaded. I genuinely haven't reloaded. So if I pick up a weapon and don't reload, okay, the counter is still on one out of two. How did I do that? Thank you. Um, I just did it, and I had one shot left in my pistol after like being rebooted. That was close. You definitely need to do it on like do it on spawn though, because if you wait till like the middle or end of a game, there's not going to be enough people close enough together for you to do that. I wouldn't have thought. Like, it's definitely one to try and do on spawn. Well, it's official. The, the one that we said would be the hardest one is that we've actually done. And we've not done any, any of the others. Zip lines, grind wires, or ascenders, that's quite easy to do, actually. There's a lot of wires and stuff around here that we could do that on. Oh, are they upstairs? Well, that's where I was coming to try and... Uh, See, like the loot and stuff. Yeah, get my grapple blade back. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah, the, the, Enfor the Enforcer AR was last week's new item, alongside Flowberry Fizz. Flo Flowberry Fizz is quite an, quite an interesting one. It's like a... Do, do you remember the sh old shield kegs? It's like one of those, but you hold it. Oh, wait. There's someone here. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was... Interesting. Right. What else can we do? What else can we do? We can do ascenders that can do grind vines and stuff around like that around here. There's enough. There's, yeah. I have just realised it doesn't even say use different ones. Yeah. So you could just go backwards and forwards on the same grind wire or zip line. And it will count. Right, we need to refuel a vehicle to seventy five by seventy five before we reach top twenty five players. I also need to enter three different vehicles, which that we can do here. Uh, doesn't even say three different types of vehicle; just says three vehicles. So, yeah, no, that shouldn't be a tough quest to do. Oh, by different vehicles, it does mean different types of vehicle. Oh, okay. 
epic, you probably want to change the way that's worded. Um, hmm. Three different vehicles. What would that count then? You've got the SUV, Whiplash, and I'm assuming Bike would have to be the third one, wouldn't it? Interesting. I'm going around all over the place. You keep that car, I'll get my own car, Brad, because we've, we've got to both refuel vehicles. No, there isn't. The gas station is over by Reckless Railways. It's all the way over there. I think so, yeah. Uh, no, that's a train station. Um, uh, that's, that's just a house. I'm going to go to the blue marker, I think, honestly. It's just the safest option. Right. And don't forget, you need to try and burn some fuel, because you've got to refuel it for 75%. Yeah, you've got whiplash, haven't you? I've got an SUV. It's a transformed with bash. It is because it, yeah, because it's it's the one that I got in. So whiplash it, yeah, whip, yeah, no, whip, whip, whiplash is transformed, don't they, into whatever car you've got. Don't tell me there's people there. Let's refuel this vehicle. Oh, you actually have to refuel it as well. You can't take them past 100%. So I just tried to refuel my vehicle past 100% and it, it didn't count. So. Oh, you. I left my purple shotgun back in Hazy Hillside. Oh, well. So Brad, is your is yours have you done your bit of the quest? So you're gonna have to go and use some of that fuel and then come back and refill it. I feel like it is much it is much easier to do on a car that has a boost. If you've used enough fuel, yeah, I might end up having to just top off your car as well because I don't think this will be another 25% somehow. Well, helps if I navigate. <laughs> I need another 12, I need another, no, 16%. Oh, yours is definitely. Yeah. We've done most of the quests. We have actually done most of the quests now. Consume food while riding in a vehicle as a passenger. We need to find food then. Oh, I've got three shield fish. Hey, Brad. Do you want to drive? <laughs> Oh, that counted two for some reason. Don't quite know why that counted two. Do you want to get out? Because you've got floppers, haven't you? And then I'll... Oh, so you can go in the passenger now and you can eat a flopper. For some reason, my shield fish counted two. Right. I'd say we can just, like loiter around here a bit. If we take some damage we can eat some more food. We need to find a bike. Where are we going to find a bike? I actually don't know where to find bikes on this map. Oh. Yeah, possibly.
we have actually done most of the quests in, in one game. There's only one that you actually can't do in one game, which is the con which is the uh, ballistic shield in three different matchups. Yeah, but that's just it. I don't often find ballistic shields anyway. I think I find them like one one every five matches or something like that. So, so in that case, that'd take 15 matches. But you've got the whole of the you've got the whole remainder of the season to do it. Ooh, Brad, I just found flyberry fizz. I want to damage myself somehow, but shield damage, so that I can eat my another shieldfish as a passenger. Nah, I'm pretty sure that the two times and the four times I've played, but I'm not too sure. I genuinely couldn't I couldn't answer that. You know what, Brad? I don't know if you want to try this, but we've got cluster clingers. We could deal some damage to ourselves. Oh, well, you've got floppers, so you can go and do that now, can't you, really? Right. Right, eat your floppers. There's another cluster clinger down there. Oh wait, no, that that won't deal any. You're gonna have to take full damage. Oh wait, no, I've got a shield fish that you can use. So wait, hang on. Yep. <laughs> uh, shield damage. You'll have to do cluster clinger. Right, I've done. I've done my quest. Oh my god. Right, I've done. I've done mine. We've got to find a bike somewhere. In this circle, we have to find a bike. Wait, there's loot down there. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Oh. I don't quite know why you went up there, to be honest. I'm going to head over to Pleasant Piazza. I'm going to try and find another vehicle. I've done an SUV. I've done a whiplash. I need a bike. I genuinely think bikes are the only other ones. Which one? Oh, yeah. One of them's knocked. And he had a medallion. Yeah, they are. Alright, Brad. There is a shield fish there that you can use for your quest if you go and get in a passenger seat. Wait, 
Are you not taking the medallion? Yeah, only up to 50 though. I've already, I've got it now. Don't worry. Where is the river? Oh my god. Nah. It's fine. I, I'll, 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 go, I'll go and grab it. I'll go and grab it. It's literally just that. I mean, I mean, to be fair, the storm's about to move back that way anyway. So... I, I was going to say, I'm surprised we've not seen a bike. That's the only thing that we really need to do, plus finding a ballistic shield. Where on earth would I find a ballistic shield? If I was a ballistic shield, where would I hide? I've also not seen the new lock on pistol, which I'm kind of surprised. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. But the storm's about to move back that direction anyway, so it's fine to wait it out. Oh wait, there's cabbages and stuff over there. Right, there you go. That's that quest done for you. Where on earth are we going to find ballistic shields now? Other than on someone who's got one. And also, which is bikes. Why is it so hard to find a bike? Oh. There's that SUV there that you can go in. Hmm. I do have Oscar's Mythic Shotgun, which is a really, o which is really OP frenzy shot. Hmm. Well, we've got to go over to the other side of the circle now, so... He's done that to stop us camping, but, you know... Still annoying. Someone was right by us and I killed him. Oh, you mean the bounty person? I see them. Use flow briefers to get myself some anti grab. And it didn't even work properly. Oh, wait, because I didn't actually use it, that's why. Very, very weak. And it's a 2v1.
Oh. Oh my god. You are joking. After all this time, I found a bike. And the bike didn't move! It mo Yeah, it moved the last second. Like, I was trying to move for so long and it just didn't move. So, what did we learn from this video? I've learned those week six quests, guys. You can probably get the majority of them done in a single match. Like, we've just done five out of the six quests in one match. The only one we didn't do was the Ballistic Shields, but that's because we didn't find any. But all in all, your Fortnite Week 6 quests for Fortnite Underground are pretty easy. So, I know this was a longer video because it was quite a long game. But with that in mind, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative, enjoyable, and fun to watch, as always. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.